Yep, so we're going to be having... What is it? 14 riders on the grid. They should be let go off soon for their warm-up lap. It will be a battle between Azul Kyrie and Amy Norden for the championship in advance. So you interviewed a rider who's going to be retiring. <laughs> yeah, uh, the shocking announcement. <laughs> Apparently, uh, his son you know, he will be taking over, so maybe we'll have another rookie. Uh, new super rookie next season. So here we have, uh, I think, 14 yeah, riders 14 on the riders. grid. So Reiko Chai, I know, uh, will be starting back off the grid because he changed his bike. So he's damaged his bike uh, during the Super Roco. So he's actually using uh, Marcus Lee's uh, bike. Okay, Marcus Lee's bike who was racing earlier in the uh, rookie He also category. crashed twice. So we're going to look... Hopefully the bike's fine. Yeah, hopefully how he does uh, from the back of the grid. So with that technicality, uh, he has been uh, pushed back to P14. Nonetheless, uh, we will be keeping our eye back once again for the two advanced rider in the front. So, first on the grid, you have the triple five, Azizu Kairi. Ejoy, starting from second. Our pole man on the far right, bike number four, Amy Nordin. And alongside both of them will be bike number 23, Ashraf. Uh, Muhammad Shafiq Ashraf. So, right. you have three uh, advanced rider on the front row. Okay, red flags being waved, waiting for the flag marshal to walk off. And we wait the green light, and it's go! Into turn one, looks like uh, Amy Noden uh, lost the whole shot to Shaf um, Shafiq. Shafiq. Shafiq to the lead? Yeah, I think that is uh, Shafiq Ashra. Wow, <laughs> that was so unexpected. Good start uh, from him. We miss uh, we miss him in Kuala Selangor. I think he did not uh, participate there. But a few changes uh, in the front. Yeah, looks like uh, Amy Nordin, uh, Shafiq Ashraf, and Aizul Kairi there fighting it out for P1. Yep, overtaking into oh bit of a touch there. Two riders went oh, wide. Three riders. Three Someone riders went uh, wide. Went off track as well. So let's see who has taken the lead this time round. We lost sight of the leader. Yeah, so that has uh, opened up a slight uh, gap in the front. It's a huge gap now, coming to the last corner. Here we go, as they all come around to complete lap one. It is uh, Amy Norden uh, with Azo Kairi. Is, uh, Amy, followed by E. Joy. So everything uh, back yeah, so to it, status so was, quo uh, now Shafiq in the front. Ashraf who lost out. See Kieran Ng just going on the inside to take a uh, P4. Yeah, leader for P4 is uh, Ab was, uh, was Abdul Fattah, but Kieran Ng has retaken. So now the battle in front is the two championship contenders, uh, Ejoy and Amy Nordin. So Ejoy closing in right there on screen uh, to Amy Nordin. They are a lot closer than they were earlier on the Super Roco. Because race one definitely uh, matters a lot more in terms of points. Here we go, we see Ejoy just right on the rear wheel of Amy Norden there. Yes, he is hounding Amy Norden, about to cross the start finish line to complete lap 2 of 10. It is still Azul Kairi, Ejoy and Amy Norden. Shafiq Ashraf still holding on to third. Kieran for the evil class has moved out to be 4 with uh, Abdul Fattah dropping to 5th. Aaron Tate in 6th. Uh, Mohamed Kamal, the other Supermoto Advanced rider, has dropped all the way down. We've lost sight of him. And I think, yeah, Fahid Kamil once again uh, did not start the race. Yeah, we didn't see him uh, in Super Roko as oh. well. Reiko has moved up to P8. Yeah, so the guy uh, who started in P13, who's on someone else's bike here in race <laughs> one, uh, is off to a good start so far. Uh, Moved it's up. like uh, Amy Norden really uh, under pressure now from Aizul Kari, unable to shake him off. Yep. Azizo Ejoy is just shadowing Amy Norden and this, into the last corner. And this is not a short race. Early on, they had a five-lap sprint race. So this is a full-on uh, race with seven laps to go. Ejoy definitely on, looking to make for a move. his moment. Trying to make a move now towards the infield. Probably gets a better exit and towards the next overtaking maneuver. Will he try? Amy, Amy Norden. 
pulling uh, out all whoa. his defensive moves at the very, moment. Very, very defensive. He's there. trying to close every gap. Ezoi tr still trying to find his way through Shafiq Ashraf. A uh, lonely third now. Lonely indeed because both leaders are doing 54s where uh, low 54s, 54 0. And uh, P3 Shafiq Ashraf only a 54 4. So he's uh, already half a second down. Ezoi just shadowing uh, our race leader now. Seven laps to go. Coming on the last corner. Who gets a better exit? Across the start finish line. The gap is down to 0 0.1. Wow. Yeah. Ezoi e is actually our current championship leader. And Amy Norton is trying to do what he can to still be in the title running for the championship. Uh, at the moment, there's uh, 320 points. Uh, to play, so it's still open between these two guys. Yep, Amy Nodi under full pressure right now. Six laps to go, almost halfway through race one. Yeah, at half distance, both of them are shadowing each other and they are mirroring their lap times, both doing a 53.5, our two race leaders. They've totally shaken off P3, uh, Shafiq Ashraf. He's now four seconds down. I yep. can't even see him and in the screen. Ah, now we see him. Yeah, now he's <laughs> about like two corners uh, behind the top two. And remind you, that is the battle for the advanced class, for the EVO. It is uh, Kieran Ung, our championship lead leader, leading Hi, the way. Hi, I'm move there. Amy Nordin under attack from Azul Kairi. Red championship leader takes the lead that from Amy Nordin. That was a Amy very Nordin. nice and clean passing move there by E. Joy. But can he hold on to it? Because Amy is now, uh, in t instead of defense mode, he is on attack mode. Can he regain the lead from E. Joy with five left to go? And looks like E. Joy is going to pull a gap as well after that overtaking move. Remember, you can see on screen. It is a huge gap now, just after three corners from losing position. Here we go. We are still uh, keeping a close eye on the top two. Here we have a Shafiq Ashraf, you see right behind them for the EVO. It is a Kieran Ng followed by Abdul Fata and Aaron Tay. So that is the top three for the EVO class sitting in fourth, Here you go. Fifth, That's the battling. Uh, four riders in the battle. I think that is uh, Aaron Tay in the front. Yep, Aaron Tay, Kieran Ng, Abdul Fata. Here comes Kieran Ng from Fata. And we see uh, Aaron Tay Tang. and Tang. Trying to make a move on the inside right behind, I think. Yeah, that's the one. Aaron Tang, Aaron Tay and Tang Shishen, they are betting it out for P6. Yep, so these are the battle for the top four position in the EVO class. They are currently on track in position four, five, six and seven. And Kieran Ng, he's not safe. Even though he is in front, he's in front by a very small margin. He's now under attack from Abdul Fattah. Abdul Fattah who say he will be retiring after today, <laughs> putting all the what pressure a uh, on Kieran. <laughs> what a statement. If he wins, maybe he'll change his mind. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> so here we go, the battle for the evil class here, the top four guys. We see, I think, Stephen Tang, did he uh, make a move on the inside of Aaron Tain? No. It's still a uh, wait cross confirmation. Kieran from Fattah from... Yes, uh, Aaron Tay is still ahead of Steven Tang. Yep, so Aaron Tay now holding on to P6. Kieran holding uh, on to his Reiko. race for Evo. On to the infield corner. It's still the top four. Kieran Ng Fata battling it out. One, two, three, four in uh, Sumamoto Evo. Yeah, Lee Long, uh, who didn't have uh, such a good Super Roko race, he's currently in 10th. So we see, I think the only rider we lost so far is uh, bike number 86, Mama Akmahisha. We have 12 bikes left on track with two laps to go. Wow, Amy Nodin has dropped down very, very far. He's now seven seconds behind uh, Ejoy. They're looking at race leader uh, no, Amy Nodin. No, this is a P2, so yeah. Amy Nodin. He's dropped seven seconds behind. He was shadowing for a moment, but now he's seven seconds behind. Yeah, he, 
he should be trying to maintain his pace because uh, Shafiq Ashraf is not too far behind him. I think he had a mistake somewhere because his last step was a one minute and one second. That's about yep, five so seconds lost, of his normal pace. Lost a big chunk of time there and uh, this has definitely given uh, E Joy some breathing space here in the lead. E Joy is still our championship leader for the advanced class. For NK Racing, this will be crucial points once again for them in terms of the battle lead for the team championship. Yes, Aizo Kairi taking the lead on the final lap. One more lap to go in P2. It is Amy Nodin. Here comes Shafi Ashraf and the betting Kieran Ng with Abdul Fatah crossing the start-finish line. Yep, so far no changes in position for the top four of the EVO class. So it's still Kieran from Abdul Fatah, from Arente and Steven Tang. So that's race leader on his own. Midway to the back. So Azizu Kairi started from second uh, on the grid. Definitely took the upper hand here in race one from his closest rival, Amy Nordin. It's not much, uh, not much challenge now. He's got a 7.9 second lead. It's rounding out the penultimate corner. Leaning over for the final corner. And, and here oh, he we looks go, at his shoulders. Around. He's slowing right down. Yeah, tries to pop a wheelie <laughs> <laughs> and takes the checkered flag. A well tiny done. Really there to yeah. take the checkered flag for wheelie. race one. In P2, Amy Nordin. Whole uh, 7.5 seconds down. And here comes uh, Shafi Ashraf. Now, Supermoto Evo. How is it in the battle for Supermoto Evo? And it's well, Kieran Ng. Once again, it will be Kieran taking the victory, followed by Abdul Fatah. Aaron Tay and Steven Tang. I think we'll see uh, Reiko coming around. So yeah, after starting uh, from the back of the grid, I would say that is a good finish uh, for Reiko Chai here. And uh, borrowed by. Yep. And this will provide him a better grip position for race two. Yilung, uh, head of Adian, Brian Key, Haika Rudin. So we now wait uh, Akmal Hisham. We've lost Akmal Hisham and also yeah, Fai Kamil. I think we lost him uh, at the start of the race. So 12 uh, yeah. riders take the checker flag here in race one for the advance and EVO. So it looks like, I mean, Azizu Kari definitely saved some energy uh, for race one because Super Roko, we saw he was quite far. From Amy Nordin, so a big change here as Azuzu Kairi, our provisional winner here in race one, followed by Amy Nordin and Shafiq Asha from the advanced class. For the EVO, it will be Kieran Ong taking victory, followed by Abdul Fatah, Aaron Tay, Steven Tang, Rico Chai, Lee Long, Adian Yen, Brian Key, and Haika Rudin. So, as mentioned, uh, DNF for Muhammad Haika, Hisham for the advanced class, and the DNS for Farid Kamil. Okay, we're going to go short break and then we'll be back for race one of the Pro, Pro All Stars, Pros and, All -Stars. and Legends. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. <laughs> <laughs> 